In this video, I asked seven measure experts what they think is the next tool or technology that we as data-driven marketers should look out for. What they said and more coming up right after this. Hi there and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and on this channel we do marketing tech reviews, tutorials and interviews just like this one. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Now as you might know, we just attended Measure Camp in London in 2017, in March actually, and I had the chance to take my camera with me to ask some measure geeks out there and the people who are running around and also some experts on what their opinion is, what is the next technology or tool we should be looking out for in order to become more data-driven, more technical in our field of marketing. And here's what they said. There's, there's a couple, there's one I did for uh, auditing like 600 events, which was just uh, a uh, an event ID added within Google Tag Manager uh, to these 600 events and then that was then added into a kind of lookup table in uh, Google Sheets okay. so it, in effect it creates a feedback loop so that when an event stopped working yeah. I could see the count of that event had gone down to zero uh, and then the other events that were working were like bubbling up so it was like an instant way of finding stuff that's broken uh, yeah, um, another good one as well, um, uh, a good sort of tip is uh, rather than paying for a tag scanner, uh, which sometimes they can be a bit expensive, uh, you can actually add um, a flag into the page title. So for instance, you add a flag that says uh, deployed via Google Tag Manager, uh, and then you uh, add um, a create a new Google Analytics profile, and in that Google Analytics profile you exclude all the data that has that flag and you end up with uh, all the data that's not being deployed via Google Tag Manager. So you then means you don't need to run a crawler to find out where's my uh, code that kind of exists outside of my environment. Um, and it's instant and automatically kind of updates. So um, yeah, saves you money on it. I mean, in a way, not really. I am quite sort of also like, yes, getting older in the industry. Um, for me right now, I'm using most of Google Linux, Google Tag Manager, and my analysis is pretty much all in Excel. I do definitely want to learn more about Data Studio, actually how to use it better. Going back before we sort of question, it's because um, it's a better tool to get the impression to people in the company, which they can understand. They're having to use Google Analytics, that's powerful. It's better visualization than Google Analytics dashboards. So I want to get more into using that and share it with my clients and throughout the entire company. So Data Studio actually is probably the answer to that. Well, this isn't a tool per se, but I'm actually, I've been really, for the last year and a half or two years, I've been really into testing. So, and not A-B testing, not CRO, but actual functional and unit testing of code. And, and we talk about unit testing in terms of like a developer paradigm that you test your code and run sample functions, but you can also do it in analytics. You can actually prove test and smoke test your analytics setup. So writing tests for, for your analytics or tag management setup or whatever um, can be really, really beneficial in the long run. So that's what I've been doing, doing for a long time now. So my absolute favorite tool is Google Sheets which everybody cringes when I say, but um, it can do some incredible stuff that very few people know about, which positions it um, very well against Excel and other tools. In particular, there's a really nice function called Query, which lets you do kind of SQL style um, pivots on data. So there's all sorts of scenarios where you'll be playing with um, Excel and you'll find that the data is too complicated. Not necessarily too big, but you're, you're trying to do n-dimensional pivots and compare stuff. Google Sheets is really good at this type of stuff. You can write SQL queries and say, select this column, but only if this column is bigger than this column and pivot it like this and average it and do some really database style stuff on the fly without any heavy infrastructure and you can learn things very quickly. There's a couple of really, really good Chrome extensions. I've just seen one that was released today, a data layer, or yesterday, or this week, sorry, a data layer one, where you can, in, it does everything that you need. You can, it, it filters the console out, so it really highlights all the uh, data layer objects. It allows you to inject a different type of um, data layer. Oh, Simo, tweet, Simo tweeted it the other day, analytics pros or something, I can't remember. Uh, they just updated it. And yeah, uh, that's, that's really, really cool. And um, it's not really a little software, but um, I've been using Tableau a lot in the last sort of few months uh, using Tableau with GA data or any data you get you can so quickly start asking questions and answering questions with GA inside Tableau it's a bit annoying in the way that the extracts and the APIs work and you have to be a little bit creative on how you can join multiple API extracts but once you get over that work when you get over that little road bump you can really start visualizing your data and getting more insights quicker through Tableau 
So there you have it. Now you are up to date with all the technologies and tools that you should be looking out for in 2017 to become a more data-driven marketer. What do you think? Is there anything that they forgot? Is there any exciting technology that you came across in the last few weeks? Then let us know in the comments below. And hey, if you like this video, please share it to a friend or a colleague and hit that subscribe button because we'll bring you new videos every week. My name is Julian. Till next time.